Good morning everyone, how are we? It is Make A Card Monday and you are watching Alisa Tilsner. I'm a demonstrator from, um, I was gonna say Stampin' Up. Yes, I'm a Stampin' Up demonstrator and I am in South Australia. Um, today we are going to be creating the card that I made uh, last week. I had lots of comments on the coloring. So I thought, let us color in uh, let me show you how I colored this in and I've just pulled out my all my Stampin' Blends and I can say that there's a lot of them. So it may, we may make the whole card, we may not, we'll see how we go. Um, and, but I've got everything prepared just in case. So we are playing with the Country Home um, stamp set, which is very nice. I quite like this one. Good morning, Kerry. How are you? So, um... I've got just just as we're getting people coming in just a couple of things I have another card kit to give away this week and I will be drawing um, I will be drawing a name from last week's as soon as I'm finished this one so keep an eye out on that um, I can't show you the cards because I gave them away already look at that I put them in the post and they're gone so um, I haven't got the cards for that but um, but this is the giveaway so just interact with me um, even if you're just sharing those little hearts and smiley faces and all that sort of stuff they all count um, and also good morning Lois and also just quickly before I swing the camera around my card um, my class of the month this month is um, using the Santa's post and um, uh, Santa's Post, is that what it's called? Signs of Santa. Santa's Post, I think, is the, um, the paper or something. Uh, no, that's Santa's Workshop. Santa's Post, I think that's dies. Anyway, so we're using that bundle and the free cards that you'll create when you purchase the products that you need. Hi, Shirley, is this one. And then I've made this one, get my angle right. And then also this one. So you will be making these cards for free you will get all the supplies and instructions for these when you purchase the products which is just the the bundle and a packet of metallics so I will be sending you everything that you need to make for them you will need to have some of your own supplies but go and check it out it's on my blog I'll put the link up later but for now let's swing around and get started um, because there's a fair bit of coloring in to do so if you want to play along with me grab something to color and we will do that. Now let me just uh, put my finger on the camera as usual and swing us around. Oh, that didn't work well. Are you still with me? <laughs> oh, dearie. Me. Goodness gracious me. That was a, uh, are we all there still? <laughs> Hang on a moment. I'm a little bit like, woo, now. Um, press that one. Goodness, get rid of that. Oh, dearie me. Dearie me. <laughs> that was a big whoops. Oh gosh. Now, hang on a moment. I need to I need to pull this forward. There we go. That's a bit better. Yes, my camera my my camera flung out of the stand completely. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's a first for me. I don't think I've ever experienced that before. Let me just set up my uh, my iPad here in front of me so I can make sure I can see what you guys are seeing. Woo! Jumpy this morning. <laughs> um, now I bet you this won't. Oh, yep, now we, here we go. Just make sure my volume is off. Oh, goodness. Okay. Alrighty. Let's hope that's the only mishap that we have, hey? Okay, good o. Excellent. Okay, now I'm going to bring my Stamparatus in. And uh, just because, you know, I've taken a fancy to stamping with it. I've got all these cords. My phone didn't get charged up enough, so I've got my phone charging. I've got my microphone cord. So let's hope that I don't have any more little accidents. Okay, so I am going to be using the jug for starters. So I'm just going to pop that in there. And I've, the reason why I've started using this more than my blocks is because I've also, you know, I like the fact that if I don't stamp it correctly, 
I can just go back and stamp it again. So I'm, I'm tending to, um, and sometimes I like a darker image. That one's okay. Sometimes I like a deeper black image as well. Now let me not pull all my cords and wires out. I feel like a... <laughs> oh my goodness. Yep, whoopsie. Never mind. These things happen, don't they? When, you, when you're live, they tend to want to... Uh, test you a little bit okay now I'm, I'm just playing with scrap card here too you know my, my folder my scrap folder for my whisper white is overflowing with little pieces and I need to um, get rid of them okay so uh, now I'm gonna just so this one I was just gonna stamp sideways because that's how it fits <laughs> hey Natalie from the UK hope your craft room is getting finished oh man what I would do for a new craft room my boys they're in the same room together at the moment and they're talking about you know they want their separate rooms now and I'm thinking oh the room that they've got as their playroom is bigger than this room and I'm thinking maybe I should um, swap rooms as well maybe I can have their playroom and one of them can be in here and one of them can stay okie doke right okay who's ready for all this coloring oh my goodness it is going to be a fair bit so I'm not sure that I will get the entire card made depends on how we go for time and how you guys are all feeling whether you want to stick around so we're going to I've stamped in memento okay because we're working with the blends now I think we'll do the jug first and I'm no professional at this okay so um, bear with me but I tried to do a little bit of rust and for my rust I have chosen to use I think that's all I had I've chosen to use um, I'm going to go down with dark Calypso coral first then some pumpkin pie and pumpkin pie light okay so I know that they don't really look like they should go together here but let's have a crack so let me zoom in a little bit and see whether I can work it out oh, okay and I'm also going to use the the I'm finding that I quite like the bullet tip most of the time now Stampin' Up! has sort of given us areas of rust around here already so I'm just going to double over those rust marks and just extend a little bit like I said I am no professional I don't even know whether to me it looked a little bit dodgy but everyone was like oh it looks really good so I'll show you how I did it <laughs> okay so just on those areas so I've just dabbed them on like that and then I've come in with my pumpkin pie dark and I've just gone over the top of my Calypso Coral and just extended it out a smidge more and I'm not being too fussy because rust isn't very fussy is it and then I come in with my last one which is my pumpkin pie light and just go over all of that and I don't want it to be uniformish but um, you get the gist because there's so many different colors in rust isn't there okay so that is that I'm going to put them on this side so I know that I've used them now I'm also coming in with my uh, smoky slate in light and dark and I'm going to um, come in with my dark one first and just go around those areas I don't even know if I'm using my markers right but Sometimes they look okay. I 
I might actually switch. Is everyone pretty quiet today or have I lost contact with you all? I might just switch to my other one and just flick them up. Something like that to start with. Then I'm going to come in with my light and just go over them. And where you would, um, if you can imagine that this is a three dimensional and the can that like the jug would sort of come around like that. So around this area here is probably where you'd get a little bit of reflection. So I'm going to leave um, that area through there white at the moment. You sort of do have to go over backwards and forwards a few times. So. like that sort of bring that around and then I'm going to come back in with my dark oh that's okay as long as you as long as you're all still watching me so I'm going to come back in with my dark and just go around those areas around the base up the side again around there up that side up that side And then just the rim, this is where I sort of switch, I generally, ew, that didn't sound too good. I generally switch between um, my bullet and my tip, depending on how much area I'm coloring in. Oh, knitting, I haven't done knitting for ages. So I'm just gonna come in with my light again and then just flick up. And where this um, shine is, I can actually start to cover that now only once though I don't want to I don't want to cover it too much something like that and I'm going to let it dry and let it do its thing actually I've got a color lifter over here I hope I stay attached to yes so you can even go in just ever so slightly with your color lifter where that shine would be just to take a smidge off so that is my jug I'm hoping that's come through clear enough. Let me just bring it up so you can get a better look at that. So there's my jug. And then, you know, just play around with it. If, if you took too much colour off then, just, you know, flick. See how you go. Anyway, okay, so that's that done. I can get rid of them. Now, with my... This I took lots. Now what will I do first? Will I do my green leaves? I think I used Old Olive Light and Dark and then I used Mint Macaron but I can't remember whether I used the light or the dark Mint Macaron. But what I'm going to come in first and I hope this doesn't take too long make sure I'm in the right spot for you guys is just come in and do dollops at the base of these, um, what are they, ferns? I think they would be. It's very hard to see them. And, and the leaves in those flowers near the artichoke flower, oh my goodness, I could not figure out what the heck was going on with them. Okay, so I've just got a tiny little bit of green down there and that's in the dark um, old olive. And then I'm going to bring in, I'll try the, I'll try the dark mint. I can't remember what color I used. So, and then I'm just going to go over the top of that whole little leaf there. So it goes straight over the top of the old olive. Just to blend them a little bit. people are coming in hello hello I'm not chatting very much I can't seem to chat and color in at the same time it's never been I can do other things at the same time but I can't seem to do that okay all right 
don't look too closely because it's not um, it's not you know 100% correct <laughs> okay I am going to do I might as well stay on with my green okay so I'm going to try and figure out how these leaves go I'm going to use my dark stamp uh, my dark old olive and I sort of want to try and go along where the stem line like you can see there's a line in there and probably a shadow around that area um, that would looks like it's the center but there would be because that one's overlapping that one that one would have a bit of a shadow that one looks like it's the middle and then along that side that's overlapping there's a middle yeah. I don't know this one's tricky I can't see I can't see what's what and around here I really can't see what's what so you know what just color in and lay color down the best you possibly can <laughs> that's what I figure anyway um, see I've got no idea I have no idea none okay go with the flow I say artistic license isn't that what they say all right so now with my light I'm going to go over the top of my dark and just extend it a smidge okay so over the top and that way that should blend in take off like you know how oh, it's hard to explain how they work they sort of take color from the dark and and blend it so you it moves removes the lines um, and I think my greens running out I did lots of coloring in with my blends for my incentive trip swaps and Yeah, these Janet, these um, these ones are really tricky to work out. I can't figure them out. So I figure if you just sort of slap some colour down, can't go too wrong, surely. <laughs> I'm gonna need a new green, I think. Squeaky. All right. And then I came in with my mint macaron. Now I know that the color tonings in the two greens are completely different, but somehow when I did it, it, it actually managed to work. But what I did was I come over the whole lot. Actually, I think I may have used the light one. See now that I'm looking at that. So I went over the entire See, they're completely different. They're completely different. Um, they're completely different tonings. Like ones are, a, you know, they're different different bases. But when you work over the top of them, they seem to be okay. But you've got to go over the top of the olive as well. So don't be afraid to mix colors that wouldn't normally. I'm learning that that they're okay they're a, they're okay uh, hope I'm not boring you to tears I'm not even sure what that is. Is that gap or is that? I've left it as gap in my earlier one. I don't even know what sort of leaves these are. I don't think that they're artichoke leaves. What did I do? See, 
just seems to, it doesn't, it's not too bad. I'll bring it up a little bit closer when I'm done. <laughs> you probably use a bit of the dark and the light. I guess when you look at it from a distance, it looks, ah, snapped me. I guess it looks better than when it's close up, so. But that's how the mint has blended into the old olive. So it's not too bad. And when it's all finished, you know, the bigger picture looks different again. Okay, next is I need those and get rid of them. I need them. And then I've got in some, I told you I've got a lot. Um, I'm not sure whether I'll use all of these purples, but I have got the uh, Highland Heather Light and Dark and also the Blackberry Bliss in Light and Dark. I can't remember whether I used all of them, but, and then the Old Olives as well. Okay, so what did I do for that? I did go looking and discovered that an artichoke flower is purple, but this isn't, um, an artichoke flower looks different to this. This is actually an artichoke, but I wanted to sort of have it like it was a flower before it started flowering. But an artichoke flower is purple. So um, let's just play, shall we? Okay, so I start off with my dark Highland Heather and I'm just putting um, at the tips of those, I don't know what they're called. You know, when you, you peel it back and you've got those um, things. Oops, I think I've missed a bit there. Missed a bit of green. Okay, so I'm just putting a tiny bit of... Um, need to come in. Tiny bit of dark Highland Heather and then just bring that down a smidge with... Go like, go over the top. With the light. Sorry, my inability to speak and colour at the same time. I need to get better at this. Okay, then I'm going to come in with my dark old olive and just put that at the base as best as I can. Oh, what's that little thing? I think I left that. Okay, and then coming in with my light, I'm going to just bring that up so that it almost touches, well, it sort of almost does touch that light purple, sort of blends over the top. Can you, do you get my hands in the way? How annoying. Um, let's see, because it's very tricky here. Okay. Just want to blend out that little so going over the dark and then bringing that little bit of a green up into the purple and then it's just a matter of going a little bit backwards and forwards with the purple and the green for a little bit I'm trying to do it so you guys can see and my hands not in the way okay it sort of looks a bit funny there, but come back. Get a, bit, a little bit of flicking motion rather than colouring. Okay, and then I came in with my dark, um, what's this, Blackberry Bliss. Because the, because the paper is Blackberry Bliss, the one that I want to use, I actually needed to bring in some Blackberry Bliss. Okay, and then some light blackberry bliss.
sort of like that. Thanks, Julianne. And then I sort of, I think I uh, may have just come in a little bit more. But you'll find, you'll find the right um, mix of them. Um, what else did I do? Now, just going back with my light Highland Heather and I'll just flick that down. So I've got a little bit more purple going on, but like try and flick it rather than um, colour with texture mark. Like, And then once all these um, colours have settled down together, they will actually blend in quite nicely. So I'll bring that up. Whoops. So that's what that looks like. Once it's all settled in, it'll be a little bit nicer. And I'll just pull back a little bit. Okay. Now I am going to, I, I did my, actually I don't know what color I did my baubles. These little ball things, I think I might do them in these. So this is my next set of colors. And with this one, I am working with um, Mango Melody Light and Dark. And I've also got some light Cajun craze going on. So with my dark melody mango melody first i'm going to just go around the edge of these reeds and then also i'll do these little ball things i actually probably shouldn't have put so much on them because that's the dark one okay and then coming in with a light and i just want to flick them out. I'm not fussed. I'm going to leave that edge white. It'll end up probably end up being colored in over the top anyway later on. So I'm just going to leave that a little bit of an edge on there. And then I come in with my light Cajun craze and I'll first go and just pop a little bit of color on the edge, the left hand side of these little things. I don't know what they are called either. And then with my these, I'm just going to dot these on. I'm not not going to um, I'm not going to color it as such. I'm just going to dot along the edge like that. And then I'm going to come back in. Just I just I tend to go backwards and forwards a fair bit. And then I'm just going to go over the top of that again. And then like that. Okay, so that's an awful lot of markers. Whoops, I've lost one. That's all my markers that I've used. <laughs> you can probably tone it down if you wanted to. You probably didn't, or you can't even see that. You probably didn't have to use that many if you didn't want to, but I do think that having a larger, whoa, I'm losing them. I do think having a larger variety of them um, it certainly helps. Okay. Now, now that I've colored, what's the time? How are we going? Do you still, do we still want to continue on with my, with the card making? because I've got to cut them out, but I wanted to show you a little thing that I did when I cut this one out, because I do did fussy cut them. Let me just pull out again, because I'm way too close. There we go. Okay, so I might as well keep going. I mean, you know, feel free to stay, feel free to leave. Yes, and, and it is just, just playing, it's just, um, and going backwards and forwards. Don't be afraid to add more or. All right, I'm sort of rushing this. This isn't the best. <laughs> it's not the best. Now, the jug's fairly easy to cut out, but because I sort of really want it fussy cut, I want to get rid of that gap there. So what I did is get your hole punch. I've still got my good old cropper dial. And just, I punched out two. Oh, I nearly got my finger then. So I punched out two, and then I sort of put a slit in them. And then I was able to, oh, 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 I was able to 
that's not going to work. Typical. There we go. So you just need to hold on to it. And then you can go around the handle. So it's a little bit tricky, but you, it is manageable. It's not as smooth as one would like, but that's okay. Okay, easy. Okay, this one might take me a bit. I swear I need to get new glasses too. I can't. Um, things look pixelated when I try to concentrate on things. I'm sure that's not right. All right, this is going to be a little bit not as neat as my previous one. Because I am going to... I am going to take the time and fussy cut. So around all these little spiky leaves, it's just a matter of trying to keep your scissors in the one position and then swinging your card backwards and forwards. Hi everyone else who's still coming in and watching. Don't forget I have got a card kit to give away as well. So feel free to, even if you, you know, intently watching and you don't want to chat that's fine just you know hit one of those little emocon thingies and it'll register i've got this good um, program thing that will allow me to pick from anyone who reacts or comments so um, it will pick me a winner okay oh hi amanda Sorry if I am not catching the comments. I'm sort of watching what I'm doing. All right. And it's best to try and leave a little white edge if you can. Sometimes it's not always possible. Sometimes it's not possible to get your white edge even. But I am being really fussy today. So yeah, if you can just try and keep your scissors in the one spot and swing your card around and try not to do the, oh, it's a bit hard when you go around there, but try not to do like the seesaw cutting. I'm sort of trying to, trying to get it so that you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm not very good with the conversation today. This card's a little bit intense. <laughs> I can't, I'm not being able to concentrate on too many things at once. All right, now we're on the home run. Isn't it nice when you get through those really, really big um, fussy cutting things and you get to the home edge and it's like, yay! Okay, so there I have my two pieces. Of course, if you want, you can stamp them together. You can um, stamp one straight over the top of the other, but I want to have one down and I want to leave. I want to bump one up. Now, what I also did was got some of my Wink of Stella. Oh. <laughs> and I painted on... Yes, I can see it. I need to squeeze. I think my wink of Stella is running out. I need to... I just painted on just my reeds and the artichoke flower. See, and the wink of Stella goes really nicely over the top of the blends as well. It doesn't, doesn't bleed or anything like that. So you can see, you can see I've got a little bit of... There we go just a little bit to brighten her up again okay now I am requiring a white card base I'm quite into white at the moment 
um, and and having a fair bit of white space now there we go don't you love it when you're working and you're like oh where's my bone folder and it's like sitting fairly close to you okay now this paper is so so pretty look at that I just love it I love it I love it so I'm gonna pop that over this side and I'm gonna put which is quite busy okay and I just want to show you the paper because it is divine okay I'm, I'm not actually gone on these sides but I love these sides so these ones are a little bit too busy for me but I really love the pattern oh, look at that it's like knit I really really love the pattern I don't mind that but I think it was that one that I was more attracted to so not so much the cotton but love all of these and I'm not really that much of a purple person but I do love I do love the B side of these or the the yellows I think it's crushed curry and um, yep uh, crushed curry and blackberry bliss so pretty so oh, I love Wink of Stella love love oops now I've put a hole in my bag oh. I always like to keep my stuff in their packets but sometimes that doesn't work so that's quite um, busy going on there so what I've done is cut out a circle of vellum as well this one I've made a little bit smaller than what I did in my first card so just to show a little bit more and that's how that will look so it just sort of softens up the paper yeah blackberry bliss is so pretty okay so I can <clears throat> I gotta think of what I did when I made my first card okay all right so just a little snip hmm okay some child has been in my craft room because I don't cut my tear and tape I tear my tear and tape he's been my eldest son he's been getting old speakers or cheap ones and hooking them all up together I don't know what he's doing he, he does come and try and explain to me what he's doing and honestly it just goes out one ear and like ugh, I don't understand he's soldering stuff and hooking things up and I don't know what he says he comes to tell me these things and I'm just like oh I'll just nod and say yes I understand what you're doing <laughs> okay I have got some metallic thread it has been a while since I've played with metallic thread and I'm going to use um, the silver one okay so when I use the metallic thread I do like a figure eight so with um, I want it about that distance so that it comes out over the top so I hook it onto my my front finger first and then I miss my middle finger and then just go backwards and forwards in a figure eight around so in and out in and out in and out to however many you want and then I hope you can see that and then I just snip that off and now I'm in a little bit of a predicament because my hands are like this and my tape is like that so uh, you gotta love their inventiveness don't you he's like oh can I can I buy a you know a cheap speaker from the two dollar shop so that I can pull it apart it's like you know go for it <laughs> it's great that they want to pull things apart and see how they work and better them and all right so now I will gather all of that in the middle and I know that the one at the top here in, in my thumb is going to come undone so I'm just going to try and gather all of that together nice and neatly and stick that on my tape and then this one here that's hanging out I can bend that in and stick and then I've got these and I can sort of fan them out a little bit and put them in a position that I want them to but I'll do that after because I'm going to stick that on my card front and then you can sort of play around with them a little bit better so that's an easy way of, of doing that uh, next I have to pop these on 
our card front. So we're nearly done. Nearly, nearly done. Oh. Oh. I'm going to try this. I think I tried doing it and I nearly stabbed through my paper at one stage when I tried to do it. <laughs> it's like, oops, that's not going to work. There we go. Pop that down in the bottom corner. And get some dimensionals for my flowers. comes together very quickly when you've um, done all your hard bits. All right. Okay, now I need, oh, where did I, that's my scrap. I am going to be using, because I love this one, and I need more birthday cards. I need more birthday cards. Okay. My happy birthday. nice to be able to watch live sometimes okay I'm just gonna stamp that in the middle who is loving their chamois do you know what I've discovered I have discovered that the chamois will remove stays on if you get onto it quick enough the chamois will um, make sure it's not super wet but it, had, it does have some moisture into it um, and you can get you can clean your stays on trimmer that's what I need okay don't look at my trimmer I still have to sandbox we want a small little guillotine just a little one just a simple little one. Oh, good I'm glad you're relaxed watching <sighs> Okay, because I don't know that you can actually get down to really small pieces with the big trimmer. The stamp set is um, Country Home. Very nice, very, very nice. Not normally my style that I, you know, I didn't think that I would be that taken with it, but I got the paper on the incentive trip and I loved you know the B side of the paper, the the pattern paper, and um, so I thought, right, well, I need I needs to have the stamp set to go with it, and I actually really quite like it. I love playing with it. Oh, you know what? I've forgotten to bring my sequins over. That's okay. They're not too far away. Happy birthday! Make sure it's straight. I'm just going to grab my sequins so. Hopefully, I don't, uh, with all my cords hooked up. Okay, now because I've used silver, I'm going to use silver. Ah, yes, it's it's on the needs list. I needs to have it. Um, where did I put these? Um, in a triangle. But, um, oops, now I want two different, there we go, two different size ones up there. Because even though I'm using four, I've got them in a pattern of three, so it's um, okay to use four, if you know what I mean. How about something like that? Something like that. Okay, so now I've got them where I want them. Excuse my other little bit of naughtiness. Okay, and I've got my... All right, I feel like a doctor here with all my, my bits. We pick it up with my left, put my glue down, stick my sequins. 
feel like I'm performing surgery or something. Okay, I wish these had a little bit more of a flat bottom, but they're okay. Stick them down. Okay, I think I'm just about done. So, oops. Oh, you flipped over. And last one. There we go. Ta da Oh. Yes. Right cap. And I love this too. The pick up, the tool, pick me up tool or whatever it's called. Very, very, oh. to screw in right okay very good excellent okay there we go there's my two cards so I am done thank you very much for joining me once again so don't forget I'll just I'm just putting my put this away so you can do these things like these with less blender pens but as you can see if you've got a whole um, stack of them um, it, you can sort of play around a little bit, little bit better. And like I said, you know, these these colours here are not, they are not in the same zone. You know, like with Copics and they all, like you can have them all in, you know, you can pick five of them and they're all in the same colour tones and they all blend nicely. Well, these are not in the same colour family and they blended pretty well, I reckon. Um, they're a little bit different. So just play around with them. Um, okay, so before I go, don't forget I have a card kit to give away. Um, I've already given the cards away, so I can't show you what they look like made up. But um, so just comment or like or you know whatever. And I also have my online card um, class. So when you purchase the products, you'll receive um, supplies to make these cards for free. Okay, and instructions so that you know how to do them. They're super cute. My husband, oh my goodness, he keeps saying to me, aren't you going to put a big sentiment up here? I'm like, no. He's like, but there's a lot of empty space there. I'm like, yes. <laughs> Men don't get it, do they? <laughs> You've got to fill up the whole card. So that's me. Thank you very much. And we will see you next Monday for um, another Make a Card Monday. So um, thanks for watching. Bye.